course, I fall often out of my chair because sometimes <laughs> I had too much fun, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's my job now to say people that um, life still yeah rolling going on yeah. This time last year, Christina, you were in Apeldoorn in Holland competing in the World Championships, winning your 10th and 11th world titles, cementing yourself um, in history as one of the all-time greats of our sport. But it's been a tough year since then. The year 2008 starts brilliant with the title 10 and 11, so yeah, crazy moments. But four months later, um, yeah, my life changed totally. I had an uh, accident, um, a crash. Um, while training in Cottbus. Yeah, there was a, a Dutch, Dutch under 19 riders who practiced in um, standing starts. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't saw him, I think, I don't know, I don't remember about that accident, yeah. but uh, yeah, I crashed in him with the 60 meter per hour. And uh, yeah, since then on, I'm paralyzed, so. And it was hard to see you for the first time in the chair, but what struck me was I, I left with posit feeling positive and feeling that in such a terrible situation, you're making the very, very best of it, and, and your attitude to it and your, your outlook on life is amazing. I always say that go out and try, because as long as you're not trying, you never know, should I ever, ever done it or not? Should I keep that, keep the goal or not? So just go out and try. And um, my sense of life is just to have humor and to have fun. And uh, without having fun, you would be with your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still that person who had trying to have fun day by day, trying to keep the challenge. <laughs> of course, I fall often out of my chair because sometimes <laughs> I had too much fun, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's my job now and uh, maybe that's my, my sense of life to say people that um, life's still yeah, rolling, going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you certainly inspired countless numbers of people through your performances on the track, but in many ways now you're probably going to inspire <laughs> a much greater audience, far, far more people than you could have ever possibly from winning gold medals on the track. But these people are still motivate me. I had a dinner in a restaurant with my boyfriend and my older sister, and uh, an older girl, a girl, I think, a well, woman, I think was 16 years or something like that, 16 years old, um, she came to say that she has the second time cancer, and she know she can make it because I made it. And yeah, I've, I've cried wow. in the restaurant, wow. but it's so, when, when she can make it, mm. so I should also do it, you mm -hmm. know? And um, they people motivate me, motivate me because I know I keep them with in my challenge and with in my, in my story and in my ways and not fighting for myself alone. Just, mm -hmm. I also fight for them and uh, sure. it makes me proud day by day.